Star Sister Academy. Be a star. Jalapeno Bagels by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Robert Casilla. What should I bring to school on Monday for International Day? I asked my mother. My teacher told us to bring something from our culture. You can bring a treat from the panaderia, she suggests. Panaderia is what mama calls our bakery. Help us bake on Sunday, then you can pick up whatever you want. It's a deal, I tell her. I like helping at the bakery. It's warm there and everything smells so good. Early Sunday morning, when it is still dark, my mother wakes me up. Pablo, it's time to go to work, she says. We walk down the street to the bakery. My father turns on the lights. My mother turns on the ovens. She gets out the pans and ingredients for pan dulce. Pan dulce is Mexican sweet bread. I help my mother mix and knead the dough. She shapes rolls and loaves of bread and slides them into the oven. People tell her she makes the best pan dulce in town. Maybe I'll bring pan dulce to school, I tell her. Next, we make empanadas de calabaza, pumpkin turnovers. I'm in charge of spooning the pumpkin filling. Mama folds the dough in half and presses the edges with a fork. She bakes them until they are flaky and golden brown. Some customers come to our bakery just for her turnovers. Maybe I'll bring empanadas de calabaza instead. <laughs> You'll figure it out, she says. Ready to make chango bars? Chango means monkey man. Mama lets me pour in the chocolate chips and nuts. When she's not looking, I pour in more chocolate chips. I could bring chango bars. They're my favorite dessert. Mine too, says Mama. This batch should be especially good. I put in extra chips. My father calls from the back room. Pablo, come help me with the bagels. Papa speaks English and Yiddish. He learned Yiddish from his family in New York City. I know some words too. Bubbe means grandmother. He uses my Bubbe's recipe to make the bagels. First, he makes the dough in a big metal bowl. Then he rolls it out into a long rope shape. He cuts off pieces and shows me how to connect the ends in a circle. We put the circles on trays where they sit and rise. While we are waiting, my father makes chala, Jewish braided bread. He lets me practice braiding chala dough on my counter. It's a lot like braiding hair. The customers say it is almost too beautiful to eat. Maybe I'll bring a loaf of chala to school, I tell Papa. He smiles. When the bagel dough has risen, he boils the bagels in a huge pot of water and fishes them out with a long slotted spoon. I sprinkle on poppy seeds and sesame seeds, and then they go in the oven. Maybe I could bring sesame seed bagels with cream cheese. No lox. Lox is smoked salmon. My father's favorite bagel is pumpernickel with a smear of cream cheese and lox. I crinkle my nose. Lox tastes like fish. Jam is better. My mother joins us and helps my father make another batch of bagels, jalapeno bagels. My parents use their own special recipe. While Papa kneads the dough, Mama chops the jalapeno chiles. She tosses them into the dough and adds dried red peppers. We roll, cut, make circles, and let them rise. I can't wait until they are done because I am getting hungry. Have you decided what you're going to bring to school? Asks Mama. It's hard to choose. Everything is so good, I tell her. I look at Papa, except for locks. You should decide before we open, warns Mama, or else our customers will buy everything up. I walk past all the sweetbreads, chango bars, and bagels. I think about my mother and my father and all the different things they make in the bakery. And suddenly, I know exactly what I'm going to bring. Jalapeno bagels, I tell my parents. And I spread them with cream cheese and jam. Why jalapeno bagels? asks Papa. Because 
They are a mixture of both of you. Just like me. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time.